Hey guys, what's happening? It's Irish iPhone Tutorials and today I'm going to be coming to you with another video and this is the top 5 City of Tweaks for August and uh, kind of September cause since it's coming up to the end of August. So I hope you guys enjoy. I believe this is the 4th episode I've brought out. So uh, sit back guys and enjoy the tweaks. Right guys, coming into number 5 spot we have a free tweak called Power Options. It's available on Mon My Eye Repo. And what it pretty much does is if you hold down the button to turn off your phone, it should give you a pop-up with loads of extra options. Now this is handy because if I want to respring or anything, I'm usually going into Winterboard, like putting a the theme on and off just so I get the respring option. So with this, it has everything available for me in a little drop-down menu. So uh, yeah, it is pretty handy. And that's called Power Options, guys. Right guys, in the number 4 spot we have a tweak called Progress Percent and what it pretty much does is adds a download percentage bar to stuff you get from the App Store. So I've already started downloading the little app and as you can see there is a percentage bar underneath and um, yeah, so that's Progress Percent guys. Right guys, in the number 3 spot we have a tweak called TV Locker Pro and this is a lock screen tweak and uh, what it pretty much does is gives you the same effect that you can get out of Springtomize 2 and uh, pretty much gives you the cool old retro TV effect. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't usually use it just because I don't really like it, but um, I guess I could put it in the top five tweaks. You can disable it and enable it from settings, and it is in Spring to Mice 2. I just couldn't find it, so um, someone decided to bring it out as a separate tweak, and I just got it. I'll play it again for you guys in slow motion so you can see it. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. TV Locker Pro. Right guys, in the number 2 spot we have a tweak called Status Bulletin and what Status Bulletin does is it squeezes your big bulletin bar that you usually get into the status bar. Now you may think, oh the text is really small and oh it probably looks like shit, but it actually doesn't. If you go into my photos here, we can see right there, up at the top that there is a bulletin bar squeezed into the status bar and to me it does look pretty sick. I thought just by reading the description that I wouldn't like it, but it's actually pretty cool. I'm sorry I couldn't catch it for you guys in action, but it's very hard to catch a notification in action on camera. So I just took a screenshot of when I actually got one. So that is pretty cool. I like it. And I believe it is called Status Bulletin. Right guys, coming in at the number one spot, we have a tweak called Dash. And what this pretty much is, is another app switcher. And um, I'm going to go through this briefly, but not too in-depth, because I'm probably going to do another video on it, just because it's so awesome. So um, I just have it set to short hold, and as you can see here, it looks fucking sick. It's an app switcher like this, and you know, it is pretty awesome. And uh, it's really clean, there's no lag out of it all, and you can change a lot of settings with it. So that's called Dash, guys, and um, it's pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the top 5 city of tweaks of August and September. Uh, school's back in two days, so we'll see how the video uploading schedule goes, but I uh, hope you guys stick with me, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Leave a like, and bye.